Five years ago, on September 22nd, the LEGO Ninjago movie hit theaters. And in order to celebrate it, I'm going to make a massive Dharma Mecha Man block. In the movie, this thing is massive, and to recreate it in LEGO is going to be quite possibly the hardest thing I've ever had to build. So back in 2017, they actually came out with a LEGO set of the Garma Mecha Man. And my cousin, who's a huge fan of the Ninjago movie, actually bought this set. So I asked my cousin if I could borrow it for like a month. Oh, what's up, dude? Yeah, this way. You got the Garmaron mech? Let's go. There's totally not a camera watching us at all times. Oh, wait, there is. Thanks for the mech. So we're actually going to be surprising my cousin with this mock. I'm not going to show him anything about the mock that I'm building until the end, and then we're going to reveal it to him, and I cannot wait to see his <gasps> reaction. So a lot of UCS either have a ton of minifigures or like one or two minifigures. Bruh. And for this one, it just felt right to add literally one minifigure, Garmadon. Cause what more do you need? Garmadon and his robot, it's perfect. I didn't make a ton of minifigures, but don't worry, I'll make up for it in my next video, you'll see. <gasps> now it's time to move on to the robot. The one in the movie is probably twice or three times the size of this puny little Lego one. So my brother that built Jay's Electromech is really good at making mechs. He's made a lot of different mechs in the past and I really needed his help to get this thing going because I had no clue where to start. I mean, this thing had to be massive. So my brother helped me build a lot of the skeleton. We kind of built the hips and then the legs going down using a bunch of Technic pieces. And then we built the feet. The feet needed to be pretty big to support this thing. So we actually built pretty big feet on this and then we kind of built the rough structure of how tall we wanted it and then where we wanted the arms to go so once we kind of had the skeleton done it was time to work on more of the detail parts in the movie it's metallic in the lego set it's a mixture of black metallic dark gray light gray silver we wanted to make it a more unified color we're going to make this dark gray which is probably the closest color we can find thankfully i have a ton of gray pieces but sadly my brother had to go back to college and I was there stranded by myself with the rest of this huge mech to build. But I wasn't gonna lose hope. I told my cousin I was gonna build a giant Garma Mecha Man mock, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. In the movie, the feet are black. I added a line of red in the middle. So right now, the legs look extremely spindly, and we had to make them like huge buff legs. So I got out my bucket of different machine parts. One of the pieces I used was track pieces, and then I used a bunch of vent pieces to give it a lot of detail. Around on the back, I used a huge metallic wheel piece with a transparent blue propeller inside. I also put some cool fins sticking up beside the legs. And then on the next part of the leg, some of the weird pieces I used here were some handlebars and some of those next to right pieces I used in my Dawn of Iron Doom mock. On the front of the leg, to give it more detail, I put on some of these cool dragon scale pieces. Now the legs were done and they were absolutely massive. Each leg comprised of five AT-AT joints. So that's 10 AT-AT joints just for the legs. So I got out six more of those silver Nexonite pieces and added some more armor around the waist. Now it was time to make the shark tank. In the actual Lego set, the shark tank has fish in it, Bruh. but in the movie, he shoots out full on sharks out of this cannon. I ordered 10 sharks on Bricklink.com. Now I had an army of sharks to destroy Ninjago City. I got a bunch of rounded transparent blue pieces in order to make this cage for the sharks. I actually got a huge dome piece that I used for the city of Merlopia and built half of this dome inside of the mech itself and the other half sticking out. Then I was able to actually stuff two sharks into here, which was awesome. I also got two of these transparent blue wire pieces so my brother had already made the chest plate for this thing, so now I needed to connect it to the actual build. This has so many Technic pins and stuff in it, that I'm pretty sure if you drop this, it wouldn't break. Then I was able to fit the chest plate on, and this thing was really coming together. So for the base of the head, we actually used this piece right here. This thing has a lot of teeth, sort of a hammerhead shark with way, way more teeth. The big <laughs> fin piece on the top of his head, I didn't have, and we were running out of dark gray slopes. So I had to take another trip to Bricklink, order a bunch more parts. They came in the mail. In the actual Lego set, it comes with this size of fin piece, and I used Come this on. size of fin piece. Yeah, it's like twice or three times bigger. I got two of those, smashed them together, and then I was able to tile them off to make it look really nice. For the eyes, I used 
use one of these transparent donut pieces with an upside down hump. This head was absolutely massive and I was afraid it would make the whole neck really top heavy and not be able to stand. So I used a bunch of Technic pieces and pins to make the head stick on the body super well. Now it was time to move on to the arm. I hope I don't run out of pieces. So I wanna go with the easy one first and I just went with the arm with the hand. For the arm itself, some interesting pieces I used here were, were some of these metallic thin pieces. I also added two skis to give it more detail and the forearm is absolutely massive. This hand actually has just three fingers so it's a pretty simple build. The fingers are pretty massive and they could absolutely smush Lloyd. So I mirrored the arm kind of the same so I really wanted this shark gun to shoot a shark but I was able to make a function where you could actually spit the shark out of it. It was really cool. It was just way too big. I had to get rid of the shark shooting function and just put one of these huge blasters in. I was able to condense it down, but I wanted to make my shark design look real without using stickers. I did that by using a bunch of teeth pieces and for the eyes I used a headlight brick with a cheese wedge on it and stuck that onto a little pin. And the eyes look pretty good. I also added some other awesome missiles to it and stuck it on. All it needed were some sharks from the tank in the back to the gun on the front so he could really start doing damage. Ah! So I got a bunch of mixel joints and stuck like 20 of them together. I put all the sharks on, I attached it, and it was done. Before we go get my cousin, let's go check this out in all of its glory. Uh, uh, oh. The Garmin Mecha Man, it's totally complete. Measuring a whopping 22 inches tall. The original one is about one and a half pounds and this one is six and a half pounds. The minifigure we have here is the most epic villain from Ninjago, Garmadon himself. The feet are poseable, they bend at the knees, so if you wanna kind of pose it, you could. I'm not even touching it. So this thing comes with a total of 13 AT, AT joints. On the back, they have these huge thruster engines. And then another feature we have on the back is the shark tank. There's a little sign that says, do not step. I added some fish up here that are actually being fed to the sharks. Then here on the front, we've got some big shocks right here. We've got some armor plates kind of down here by his hips. Then we have the big chest plate, some big spikes coming out here for the shoulder pads. I actually made Garmadon holding two wrenches. It looks like he's controlling it with levers. There are a couple computers I put back behind it. And then you have the huge frill on top with two super creepy red eyes kind of makes up this hammerhead look. This arm over here can move. It's got a couple different joints. We've got some spikes coming out and little details too. And then we have this massive hand. Then on the other arm, we have a huge shark gun, which is personally one of the coolest weapons you could possibly give a mech like this. It's got a shark head and then it's got six huge missiles. So the shark gun doesn't actually shoot out sharks, but it can shoot out a huge missile. And this whole head can actually turn. I use some gears for friction for different poses ability reasons. So you have seven sharks in all going down along this all the way to the back of the tank where the sharks are getting capped. A couple other things I added to the arms were some tubes going to make it look more mechanical. So we're about ready to get my cousin down here and we're gonna surprise him with my giant Garma Mecha Man mock. Let's call him down and see what he thinks. Let's go! All right first things first we have Lloyd right here. Pretty small little character. We have this awesome guard. Oh wait, never mind. So when you showed me this the first time, I thought it was pretty cool, honestly. And thank you very much for letting me borrow it. It kind of put into perspective. Kind of. What this looks like. And this is. Wow. It's it's like pretty heavy. If you were to give this one out of ten. What would you give it? Probably uh, a nine. This is a nine bot, guys. Nine. If you guys want the experience of building this too, you totally can. Go to brick-legends.com or the link in the description where you can pick up your instructions. And here's the thing, it's half off from now until this date right here. Stop falling down picture, so get it before then. The only other thing I have to say is subscribe.